Hello guys, so, um, this video's just on, I am kind of tired of Critical Legends, and I'm probably gonna take a break, um, I love the game, and I'm still gonna record on updates and major milestones, just, it's, the game got boring, and also this update kind of was the last strand for me. This update's really cool. Willy well done ish. The it's quite unique. Um the new items are cool. Uh I have gotten one of them, which I will maybe make a separate video on. I'm also still planning on making a deals maker video, although I'm still not a hundred percent sure on what it actually does. Um so this is kind of just saying why I'm taking a break. Um, I am going to record the videos on this, just there's going to be a lot less uh, uh, videos on the game until the next update. Once the next update's out, if it's not uh, similar to this one, I am going to be getting back into it and I will grind the game again, including this event. I am going to grind this event still, um, but I haven't done much. I haven't done much grinding lately on this um, event. I've done some. I got one new item, uh, Variska's Crown or whatever. Um, it has been. I have been thinking about trading it. Um, but the main problem with this update is it's just so tedious, and the game obviously it's it's a very grindy game but the problem i'm fine with grindy games i like grindy games but you are waiting for that something to happen for the moon event to spawn nothing new um in between so you have those 10 minutes of that celestial event that doesn't have a guaranteed chance of occurring um, might not even be the one you want. For 10 minutes, that appears. Then it's 10 minutes of gameplay right there, and then you have to go back to waiting. It's all chance-based. There is no guarantee event. There is no strategizing to optimize events other than server hopping, which is pretty boring. In, in between that time of waiting for that, you can't do anything. You change tabs to watch YouTube, you might miss the event. So you're just sitting there waiting. Uh, one thing that I do think could have made this event much more enjoyable is new enemies and new bosses with new attack patterns. Um, new classes. New classes make the game a lot more enjoyable. Obtaining all these cool new classes. Uh, but all you're doing is waiting for a celestial event. Then once that celestial event comes, you just buy items. That's all it is. Now, and I also don't like, okay, so for the celestial harvest or the spirit harvest uh, moon, everything costs way too much fruit. So you're not going to be able to get anything if you, unless you like, actively either grind for hours for one specific fruit or you waste all your items trading for an item that doesn't even seem that good because it gives you uh one to three fruit every three minute of that fruit uh if you get the sa specific saplings so apple saplings i think give one to three apples every three minutes if i remember correctly and it takes a long time to pay itself off. And it's cool. It's unique, the idea. But when uh, the owner of the game, Ready, when he released a sneak on this item, it said it will ruin the fruit economy. I don't think this will ruin the fruit economy at all. I think it can impact it. It's definitely going to impact it considering... You get them for free, you can just AFK, it takes no work. You can AFK getting apples while getting more apples. That's quite good. There's literally no downside. 
but it's mainly the problem of, well, is it worth it? Is it is it worth spending days getting an armor piece that can barely pay itself off that quick? I don't know the exact amount until it pays itself off, but it takes a long time because three hours a minute, three three for three minutes. The Blood Moon is decent. Um, I think it's the best one in my opinion. Uh, it's easy to grind, and the items are really cool. Um, the way you get it is you get, you need 150 blood tears, which is a 10% drop from any enemy, which makes it mean to actually get the area to get the new items. You need to spend quite some time killing enemies and waiting for celestial events. And then, um, to get the area, you need to go to the hell where the hell bat is. And there's going to be a gate that you can get for 150. Um, and then, th then you talk to the NPC in there, and you need to give it 150, another 150. So per item, it's 150, and you're paying 300 for it, which is going to take a lot of uh, blood moons. You can do it quite efficiently with mana potions, obviously and uh, Demon Scroll Technique, and just running around killing whatever you run into. Uh, that is quite fast. I think the, the door is over here. Yeah, this is the door. Yeah. Um, so... The Blue Moon is different. I have not yet to get one. Um, but I am pretty sure it's just find the NPC. Once you find the NPC, just talk to her, trade stuff in for items. Um, and I really like this update. It's a really cool update, and I think design-wise, it's well made. The event being put in, I think, was terribly inputted. And I think it could have been adjusted a lot to make it a loss, a lot less boring and a lot less painful waiting for events. I think it would just be cool to add like one of one uh, boss. I don't actually even know if you could obtain these items from rebirthing. So <laughs> I just don't know. And I feel like they should have changed the event. I think they should have just released maybe one boss, two bosses. Um, another thing that I feel like would have made this event so much better is the empty... Uh, days? I think they should have changed it. So it doesn't go away after you use it. And instead, it's a cooldown, so if you get three of them, uh, one for each moon, you can use each moon every couple of hours, so it's a lot less painful, and I feel like that would have been a very well good change, but that's not a change, that's not happening, so yeah. Um, I am still, as I said, I am still going to play the game, uh, but there won't be as many videos. And those who are here just for Critical Legends, which I think the majority of my viewers are, I am sorry, and I hope you can enjoy some of my other content. I don't want you guys to leave, but I understand if you were here just for Critical Legends. Um, just stay around. Uh, you can unsubscribe, but just check in every couple of weeks uh, to check out any new videos on the game. Um, I am going to obviously stay up with the game if there's updates i'm gonna release a bunch of videos but apart from that probably not now um yeah i am gonna record some other uh, types of games um but other than that uh enjoy right um subscribe please uh we're approaching 170 
270, my bad. Five more, five more away. Uh, and maybe by the end of the year or end of the next month, we could reach 300. That would be really cool. Um, yeah. Have a good day.